everyone. Welcome to Live Interactive English. This is Karen. Hi, everybody. I missed you. Welcome back. I'm Shane. <laughs> Today we're looking at part two of sneaky department store tricks, and the vocabulary words are fond. Fond. Monica has fond memories of her grandmother's house. Pine. Pine. One of our Christmas traditions is to spend the night decorating a pine tree. Aww, it's really sweet.、Mm -hmm. Coconut. Coconut. Eric drank from a coconut as he walked through the night market. Mm, yummy. Fun, yummy. <laughs> discount. Discount. You will receive a discount on your ticket price if you are a student. All right. Signal. Signal. The green sticker signals that the product is half off its original price. Wow! What a good deal. All right, that's a good bargain. I want to buy more, more, more. Wait, 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 wait! Calm、oh. down, Shane.、Oh, oh. That's just a trick.、Oh, really? Okay? They want to. Well, they want you to spend more money.、Yeah. I, so, department stores. So department stores are also trying to. Trick my senses too.、Mm -hmm. my, 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 my eyes and my ears and my nose. Exactly. But usually the colors, like the, I think of, like red, lets you know that there's like a sale. Yes, and then、like、it makes you want to buy because you think,、mm. oh, ooh, the price is really good.、Wow. And something that's probably like black, and then might make you think high of, quality. Yeah, this thing has good quality. How about your nose? And then sometimes they would put in some scent. Maybe you walk into the children's, you know, department or the area, and then you smell baby powder,、oh. and it kind of makes you feel like, yeah, why not buy a set of baby clothes? Oh wow! <laughs> okay, yeah. And then we have our ears. Oh, the music that they play will create a mood to make you feel relaxed. Exactly. Or make you just want to spend your money. Mm-hmm. Wow! So I think the best thing to remember is just bring the money you want to spend, right? And don't bring your credit card. Don't get tricked. That's right. Okay. And you'll be safe. Enjoy. Enjoy. Sneaky department store tricks. Your senses are linked to your emotions and make for a powerful sales weapon. When you feel good, you buy more. So naturally, department stores design strategies to appeal strongly to your senses. For example, smells can bring back fond memories. The smell of Christmas pine during a holiday sale, baby powder in a children's department, or coconut sunscreen at a summer clothing display can result in an extra purchase. Welcome to Live Interactive English Magazine. Today's lesson is called Sneaky Department Store Tricks, Part Two. Hi everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. We're looking at some of the tricks that the architects and designers of department stores have to make us go into the stores when we might not want to, stay in the stores longer than we want to, and spend more money than we had planned. It's a great way of doing business, but it's also good if we know about some of these sneaky strategies. So that we can save ourselves a little bit of money. Let's keep reading on and see what else we can learn about some of these sales strategies. It says your senses are linked to your emotions and make for a powerful sales weapon. Wow, we're really getting into how the brain works in ways we don't really understand. Our senses, seeing things, smelling things, hearing things, and feeling things. All of these are linked to our feelings, our emotions, and these make a powerful sales weapon. If they can appeal to your eyes or ears or nose, maybe they can get you to buy something. Anyways, more on your feelings. Apparently, when you feel good, you buy more. So naturally, this totally makes sense. So naturally, department stores. Design strategies to appeal strongly to your senses, not to your intellect or to your brain, but to your emotions. Because if you have good feelings and emotions, if you're in a good mood while you're in that store, you're going to buy more. All right. Yesterday we talked about some of the appealing window displays, the 
beautiful and attractive things we can see that might draw us into the store. But what about things you can smell? It's true. It says, for example, smells can bring back fond memories. It's amazing. You can smell something from your childhood, and suddenly you're back there at that time. Smells are very powerful, especially in bringing back. Fond memories. In this case, fond basically kind of means good, warm, happy memories. When we look back at our happy times in old pictures or talk about our our old times with with friends, we have these fond memories, warm, happy memories of good things and good feelings. For example, Monica has fond memories of her grandmother's house. It was many years ago, but she spent. Many happy times with her grandmother、mm. in that home. It was good, good times. She, she was also very fond of her grandmother. Very often, when you see this word "fond," it'll be used in that phrase to be fond of something or someone. And very simply, if you are fond of something or someone, you like that thing or that person. Anyways, more on these smells. These smells in department stores that can bring back memories. Get this: the smell of Christmas pine during a holiday sale, baby powder in the children's department, or coconut sunscreen at a summer clothing display can result in an extra purchase. People in the West celebrate. Christmas and have Christmas trees, so that scent of pine can bring back those fond Christmas memories. Let's go ahead and talk about the word pine right now. It's a noun. When we're talking about pine here, we're talking about a type of tree. Pine trees or pines are trees that have needle leaves. Their leaves are actually shaped like needles. Further. Pine trees are evergreen. They don't change color in the winter or in the fall. They always stay. They always stay green. Further, pine trees have pine cones. Anyways, for example, one of our Christmas traditions is to spend a night decorating a pine tree.、Oh, so it's a whole family of trees. But just think of the Christmas tree type. That's basically what we're talking about. Of course, we relate Christmas trees or pine trees to Christmas and coconut. We often do relate to the summertime, to holidays, to things around a beach because coconuts come from palm trees. Those types of trees we see in warm countries like Taiwan and also a lot of holiday destinations. The coconut is the large nut, the large fruit. Of these trees, they're brown on the outside with sort of this rough hair, and then you can cut them open or chop them open, and inside they have that soft white flesh that's very sweet and delicious, as well as coconut water、mm. and things like that. But the smell we often find that in sunscreen too, right? It reminds you of the beach. That is a coconut. For example, Eric drank. From a coconut, as he walked through the market, you might see the brown or even the green outside skin of the coconut. They put a hole in it, put a straw in there, and drink the water straight out of the coconut. There you go. Eric drank from a coconut as he walked through the night market. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a break, folks. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们在第一天的课文读到，百货公司会用橱窗展示来吸引顾客走进门。那它的路线会引导顾客把整间百货公司逛完，而且里面没有时钟，也没有窗户，目的啊就是要让你在里面待久一点，越久越好。除此之外，他们呢还会设计策略来迎合顾客的感官，因为人的感官跟情绪是有连结的。像嗅觉可以让人想起美好的回忆，我闻到某个品牌的乳霜味道就会想到我阿妈、啊。那么课文也有提到几个例子，像假期特卖会期间的圣诞树那种松树的香气，还有童装部门婴儿爽身粉的香味，还有夏至夏季的服装展示会里面呢，他们会有那种椰子味的防晒乳味道等。等，当你闻到这些味道时，会想起一些美好回忆，心情一好就会买更多东西了。这边有三个单字 ，fond。Fond， 它是形容词，形容美好的、愉快的，或者是深情的。我们常常用 be fond of 加上某人或某事物来表达喜欢、爱好某人或某事物。那么 pine。
pine 表示松树。Chad 老师提到松树会有松果，那老师说的 pine cone。Pine cone 就是松果。老师还有提到 evergreen 这个形容词。Evergreen 是拼作 e v e r g r e e n。那这个字它是形容常绿的或是常青的。好，下一个单词 coconut。Coconut 表示椰子。那 Mike 老师有说到 palm tree。Palm tree 就是指棕榈树。接华课文中。Sneaky department store tricks. Department stores also carefully choose their background music. Slow music will calm you and make you stay longer. Fast music, which is generally used in the evening, will make you move around the store quicker. The colors you see are important too. Red and orange will make you think of discounts and bargains, while black signals high-quality goods. Get this, everyone.、Mm. Department stores also carefully choose their background music. Their music. Get this. There's more. Not only do they carefully select and choose their background music,、mm -hmm. they know what type of music works best. Slow music, everyone, will calm you. And make you stay longer in the department store. And of course, that's what they want because hopefully you'll spend more money. Fast music, it says, which is generally used in the evening, will make you move around the store quicker. So they might actually change the music during the day, and then in the evening, when the store will close soon, and they want you to come in and go out. Quickly, they'll change it to slightly faster music. I've also heard many fast food restaurants also will play faster music to make you eat faster and get out of the restaurant so that someone can use your table. So that's something you might not even notice. And here's something else: the colors you see are important too. That's right; they're choosing the colors of the walls or the carpet. Or other things like that. How does this work? Well, it says red and orange will make you think of discounts and bargains, while black signals high-quality goods. So the decorations might reflect this. Red and orange makes you think of saving money, discounts, bargains, sales, while black signals high quality, like a black leather handbag or a nice pair of black shoes or something、Ooh. like that. These are the way they use colors. It's true. Often, when they have the signs for sales in、It'd、stores, red. they're red, red. Usually, almost always. Fifty percent off. That's right. I've never seen a tag that says that. That is green、no. or blue. It's always Maybe yellow. Red. Red's most it's common. Red. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the word discount、mm. right now. Discount. Is a bargain. It's a situation where the price of something has been dropped. The price of something is lower than it was before. Okay, that's what a discount is all about. During a sale, you can buy things at a discount. These things have been discounted. Now, notice that I just used that word "discount" as a verb. In our article, it's being used as a noun, but you can also Discount something. That's when you drop the price or when you lower the price of something. Anyways, let's take a look at an example sentence. It says, "You will receive a discount on your ticket price if you are a student." There you go. What a bargain! You'll get a lower price if you are a student. And here we're also using signal as a verb. Often, as a noun, a signal is a sign. If a policeman holds up their hand to do this, they are signaling signaling you to stop. That is the message that they are trying to communicate. So, to signal basically is to send a message or to communicate something. Often through a sign or a color or a gesture. If I wave my hands, I'm signaling that I want attention. If the policeman signals like this, they're signaling for you to stop your car. And colors like green will signal go on a street. Red will signal stop. And colors can signal things in other ways too. The green sticker signals that the product is half off. Its original price. All right, that's it. We're going to take a break, and then we'll be back. He's going shopping, but after that's done, we'll be back for more. 
the green sticker. Yes, I know. I know. Green, yes. half off. Half off. Amazing. Yeah. Awesome. 柯文提到，百货公司也会仔细的挑选背景音乐，比较慢、比较缓和的音乐呢，会让人平静，让顾客待久一点。那么快节奏的音乐会让顾客走得比较快，所以就是选在晚上的时候来播放。那除了这个听觉呢，他们也会顾及视觉，顾客所看到的颜色是很重要的，像红色和橘色会让人想到折扣啊，还有便宜货。那么黑色就会想到它是代表高品质的商品。文章的复合形容词 high quality， high quality 就是形容高品质的。至于 bargain， bargain 这个名词呢，它表示便宜货或者是特价品。那么 good， good 这个名词它表示商品或是货物。当这个意思来解释时，它固定要用复数型。这边还有两个单词 discount， discount 它可以当名词或当动词，当名词表示折扣。当动词就表示打折扣，还有 signal， signal 也可以当名词或当动词。当动词它是指表示、显示或是示意。那么当名词它是指信号啊、标志、号志等等。这华课文中。Sneaky department store tricks. The next time you go to a department store, consider why things are designed the way they are. A little knowledge can go a long way to help you avoid making more purchases than you originally planned. Wow, green stickers—they've really taught me to dream. Anyways, though, let's go ahead and wrap up our article on sneaky department store design. Folks, the next time you go to a department store, consider why things are designed. The way they are. Think about these things and don't let your emotions get the best of you.、That's、Why?、Right. Because a little knowledge can go a long way. That's right. Our last sentence says, "A little knowledge can go a long way to help you avoid making more purchases than you originally planned." Hopefully, these two articles have given you a little knowledge, a little more information. And this can go a long way, or help you in a big way, to avoid these sneaky tricks and to keep that money in your pocket and not waste it buying things you really don't need. All right, we'll wrap things up with a question about the article. Our "What do you think?" question is: What do you think is the most effective way? To make people buy more at a store, you are a department store designer. What is the best way to get people to spend money?、Sir? Well, I think we've covered this to some extent. If、okay. you can get a person to spend more time at a store,、mm. they are going to buy more. This is the most effective method because one. Science. Science has shown that this is true. And you know something? One thing I've noticed recently in department stores、mm -hmm. is that very often elevators are hard to get to、mm. or access. Okay, these store owners want you to use an escalator because the escalator is slower. Mm -hmm. And you can look around the store while on the escalator, and because then it's going to be tough to get down as well. So for this reason, you spend more time in the store. How sneaky! How devious! How tricky! How clever! All right, folks. With that, our lesson has come to an end, and it's time for us to say bye bye. Take care. 看完这两天的课文，我们已经知道几个百货公司耍的小伎俩了。那下次同学们去逛百货公司的时候，可以偷偷注意一下这些小心机，具备一点知识是很有帮助的，也许可以帮我们省点钱，防止我们多买一些本来没有要买的东西。好，文中的 go a long way 表示很有帮助或是大有帮助。刚刚 Jeff 老师说，他还有注意到另一个奸诈的小心机。百货公司的电梯通常都是在比较难找的地方，对不对？那他的目的就是要让顾客们搭电扶梯，慢慢看，慢慢逛。那老师有提到电梯跟电扶梯的英文 ，elevator。Elevator， 它是拼作 E L E V A T O R， 那这个字是指电梯。Escalator，Escalator， Escalator, 它是拼作 E S C A。L A T O R， 那这个字是指电扶梯。老师还有用到一个形容词叫 devious， 
devious， 它是指狡诈的。那这个字是拼作 d e v i o u s。好了，那么以上是这个讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny。在今天的课程中，我们要介绍五个文法重点。第一个是 A be linked to B。第二个是 make for something。第三个是 go a long way。第四个是 avoid 加上名词或动名词。第五个是 more 什么什么 than 主词加动词。首先，我们来学习 A be linked to B。Link 做动词表示使什么有连接，常常用被动语态 A be linked to B 来表达 A 与 B 有关联。例如 ，Diabetes is linked to high sugar intake。糖尿病跟摄取多量的糖有关联。接下来，我们来学习 make for something。Make for something 表示导致什么什么的结果，或者是造就什么什么。它常用来表达某事情造成或者是有助于另外一件事。例如 ，All the performers are very talented, which should make for a great show. 所有的表演者都非常有才华，应该会造就一场很精彩的表演。接着，我们来学习 go a long way。Go a long way. 以事物来当主词时，表示大有帮助或是持续很久。例如 ，You should try to drink coffee in moderation. A little caffeine can go a long way. 你应该试着有节制的喝咖啡，一点点咖啡因效果就可以很持久了。接着，我们来学习 avoid 加上名词或动名词。动词 avoid 是指避免或是防止，后面通常是接名词或动名词来表达避免做某事，防止发生某事。例如 ，We'd better leave early to avoid rush hour traffic. 我们最好早一点离开，以便能避开尖峰时段的拥挤交通。最后，我们来学习 more 什么什么 than 主词加动词。More 什么什么 than 主词加动词，这是比较句型，表示比什么什么还要多的什么。例如 ，She gave her son more money than he asked for. 她给他儿子的钱比他儿子要求的还要多。以上是今天重点整理，我们下次见喽。See you next time. Bye. Let's go to the movies together. Is there anything good playing? A new comedy just came out. What's the movie about? 首先呢，要约朋友出来的话，基本句型就是很简单。Let's go to 什么东西 together. Let's go to 什么东西 together. Let's go to the movies together. Let's go to the movies together. 一起去看电影。对。Let's go to the concert together. 一起去听演唱会。对对对。Let's go to the concert together. 嗯哼。如果想约人，或是被约看电影，首先要问一下有什么好看的。哎，最近有什么好看的？对，有什么好看的呢 ？Is there anything good playing? Is there anything good playing? Is there anything good playing? 嗯，最近有没有什么好的 ？Anything good playing？ 那这边呃、uh, ，anything good 字面上只有什么任何好的东西。好的东西。但是因为我们在讨论电影，嗯，所以意思就是，哎，最近上档的这些上映的片子里面有哪些是好看的、哦、？Is there anything good playing？ 哦、oh, ，可是要用怎么说？这个用英文说，现在某某电影刚上演。OK， 刚上映这样。就可是说，可是 is playing now。OK， is playing now 是现在正在热映中。Oh. 某个电影呢，刚刚出来的话，哦、oh, ，刚刚出来，昨天上才刚上映。嗯，某个电影 just came out。Just came out. Okay, the, a new comedy just came out. A new comedy just came out. Okay. 那还有什么可以用 came out？ 
呃专辑，专辑，嗯，比如说他的最新专辑，好，嗯，爱戴尔。爱戴尔，嗯，应该还没有了哈。Her new album just came out. Her new album just came out. 嗯，她的新专辑刚出炉了。那面包刚出炉也可以 came out 吗？哎，不大，不太一样哈。OK、哦。<笑>好，可是如果说这部片子在演什么，可以怎么说吗？演什么就是这部电影是关于什么的？关于什么 ？What's the movie about? What's the movie about? 嗯，那这个剧情也是非常万用了哈，就是哎，比如说这这封信，这封电子邮件是在讲什么？ What's, what's the email about? What's the email about? What's the phone call about? 谁打给你？对 ，What's the phone call about? 对，我帮你老婆问。对，刚刚那通电话，谁打给你的？我们看一下今天的 live action。你说谁打给你的？哎，悠悠 ，Let's go to the movies tonight. Is there anything good playing? Yes, a new comedy just came out. Okay, okay. Um, so what's the movie about? Well, let's find out tonight. <laughs>